fact that what we're seeing is the cyber world crossing over into the physical a lot more. So more than just disrupting machines and stealing data, it's taking control of a SCADA system remotely, covertly, and having something burn up, break, turn an engine on at the wrong RPM and have it overheat. Things like that are happening. There's movies out about you know people taking over the stoplights in downtown, and that's very real. Um, and so those are the things that make me nervous is when the, is when the cyber world crosses over into the physical, and it makes it a real, real threat. And it's more than just hey, I just stole all your data, which is not good in that CNN moments. Um, but it's the physical that, that that worries me the most. There's all types of different security vendors. There's the large ones that have been established for a long time that have a ton of money and huge R&D staff and great resources. Then there's the, the, the startups, the people that have ideas, um, uh, the Israeli companies, the, the, the different uh, Korean companies, the, uh, the, the companies out of Silicon Valley, obviously, that, that have, a, have a great idea to solve a specific need and decide to jump out there and get funding from the VCs and get funding from investors and go make a product happen. And then you get it installed in certain places and you, and you work out the bugs and then it goes to POC. Next thing you know, it's a player in the market uh, and it's solving a specific need. And so I think what they need to do is they need to stay ahead as best as possible uh, of the emerging threats. Listen to their customers. Where are you having issues? What are you seeing? Um, and then also, listen to the feedback of partners like SOS Security to you know, listen to what we have to say at partner councils and things like that to let them know what we're also seeing. So I think the best type of vendor is one that listens to its customers and its partners and then also continues to innovate.